Hello all, a warm welcome again from the PPT guy to a new tutorial on PowerPoint tricks. We all feel frustrated when asked to get a premium subscription for an icon. Even Microsoft has premium icons. So, we'll bypass them and create our own icons. So, we will create 5 different icons to understand how to create a custom icon in PowerPoint. We'll create a camera, a target, a clock, a cutlery, and a building. Let us start with a camera. We'll start by inserting a rounded corner rectangle. Insert a hexagon shape on the shape on the top and align both of them to the center. Next, insert a small rectangle on the top left to give the appearance of a flash. Adjust the round corners of the rectangle. Now select the modified rectangle and hexagon and select Union. Select the larger rectangle and the smaller rectangle, go to the Merge option and select Subtract. Insert a circle at the center, or select the new shape and the circle, and select Subtract under Merge. Next, insert a hollow circle and adjust its radius. Select All and click on Union. Now we have a camera icon and its color can be changed as we need. The second icon is the building. The first step is to insert a rectangle shape. Insert another rectangle at the base with less height and a slightly bigger width. Duplicate the smaller rectangle, place it on the top and reduce its width. Do it once again at the top. Select all the shapes, align them center, and select Union under Merge. Now we'll create the windows. Insert a square. We will go for a 3x4 design. Once the first column is done, align them center and distribute them vertically. Group all four squares and duplicate them twice. Group the three sets of columns next. Change its color to white for reference and place it on the previous shape. Let's create a door. Extend the length of the center square at the bottom and adjust the position. Ungroup all the squares. Select all the shapes and click on Subtract under Merge. We have a building icon. The icon color can be changed as you need. Next, to create a clock icon, start by inserting a small circle to represent the numbers in an analog clock. Duplicate it and align it at 6 and 12 hour locations. Group them and duplicate them. Place the duplicated small circles at 3 and 9 hour positions. Align them center. We will next create the hour and minute needle. Insert a rectangle as one needle and duplicate it to create another needle. Change the length of one so it can be differentiated into hour and minute needles. Insert a hollow circle and align them to the center and middle. Ungroup all shapes and select all of them. Under Merge, click on Union. Now, we have the clock icon ready. Next, we will create a target icon. First step is inserting a hollow circle. Adjust its inner radius. Duplicate the shape and reduce its radius and fit the new one inside the earlier one. Repeat the same and then place the new circle inside the previous two. Increase the inner radius of the innermost circle. Align all circles to the middle and center. Draw a small rectangle at the top. Duplicate it and place it at the bottom. Align all the shapes to the center. Duplicate the two rectangles and turn them 90 degrees. Place it like a plus sign. 
and align them to the middle of all shapes. Select all the shapes and click on Union. Target icon is ready, let us change the color. Red would be good. Next, we will create a text-based icon. Insert a text box. Click on Symbols under the Insert tab. Select the Webdings font. Scroll down, you will find the plate, spoon, and fork symbol. Click on Insert. Next, increase the font size to 150. Insert any shape onto the text. Let it be small and should be within the text symbol. Select the text and the shape. Under Merge, click on Union. You have a cutlery icon. Now, you know how to create an icon in PowerPoint in less than a minute. For more PowerPoint hidden tricks and tutorials, hit that subscribe button to get notified of new tutorials by the PPT guy.